एम सूर्य घर मुफ्त बिजली योजना हैज बीन लॉन्च टू इंस्टॉल रूफ टॉप सोलर प्लांट टू एनेबल टू एनेबल वन क्रोर हाउस होल्ड्स ओपेन फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड यूनिट्स एवरी मंथ द स्कीम हैज जेनरेटेड रिमार्केबल रिस्पॉन्स विद मोर देन वन पॉइंट टू एट क्रोर रजिस्ट्रेशन and 14 lakh applications and we will further encourage it pumped storage policy a policy for promoting pumped storage projects will be brought out for electricity storage and facilitating smooth integration of the growing share of renewable energy with its variable and intermittent nature in the overall energy mix research and development of small and modular nuclear reactors nuclear energy is expected to form a very significant part of the energy mix for vikasit bharat towards that pursuit our government will partner with the private sector for one setting up bharat small reactors two research and development of bharat small modular reactor and three research and development of new newer technologies for nuclear energy the r&d funding announced in the interim budget will be made available for this sector also advanced alva sup advanced ultra super critical thermal power plants the development of indigenous technology for advanced ultra super critical thermal power plants with much higher efficiency has been completed a joint venture between ntpc and bhel will set up a full scale 800 megawatt commercial plant using ausc technology the government will provide the required fiscal support moving forward development of indigenous capacity for the production of high grade steel and other advanced metallurgy materials for these plants will result in strong spin off benefits for the economy road map for hard to abate industries a road map for moving the hard to abate industries from energy efficiency targets to emission targets will be formulated appropriate regulations for transition of these industries from the current perform achieve and trade mode to indian carbon market mode will be put in place support to traditional micro and small industries an investment grade energy audit of traditional micro and small industries in 60 clusters including brass and ceramic will be facilitated financial support will be provided for shifting them to cleaner forms of energy and implementation of energy efficiency measures the scheme will be replicated in another 100 clusters in the next phase priority 7 infrastructure investment by central government significant investment the central government has made over the years in building and improving infrastructure has had a strong multiplier effect on the economy we will endeavor to maintain strong fiscal support for infrastructure over the next 5 years in conjunction with imperatives of other fiscal consolidation this year i have provided 11 lakh 11111 crore rupees for capital expenditure this would be 3.4% of our gdp infrastructure investment by state governments we will encourage states to provide support of similar scale for infrastructure subject to their development priorities a provision of 1.5 lakh crore rupees for long term interest free 
loans have been made this year also to support the states. Private investment in infrastructure. Investment in infrastructure by private sector funding and enabling policies and regulations. A market-based financing framework will be brought out. Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. Phase four of the PMGSY will be launched to provide all weather connectivity to 25,000 rural habitations which have become eligible in view of their population increase. Irrigation and flood mitigation. Bihar has frequently suffered from floods, many of them originating outside the country. Plans to build flood control structures in Nepal are yet to progress. Our government, through the accelerated irrigation benefit program and other sources, will provide financial support for projects with estimated cost of 11,500 crore rupees, such as the Kosi Michi Intrastate Link and 20 other ongoing and new schemes, including barrages, river pollution abatement, and irrigation projects. In addition, survey and investigation of COSI related flood mitigation and irrigation projects will be undertaken. Assam, Assam grapples with floods every year by the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries originating outside India. We will provide assistance to Assam for flood management and, and related projects. Himachal Pradesh suffered extensive losses due to floods last year. Our government will provide assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation through multilateral development assistance. Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand too, suffered losses due to cloud bursts and massive landslides. We will provide assistance to the state. Recently, Sikkim witnessed devastating flash floods and landslides that wreaked havoc across the state. Our government will provide assistance to the state. Tourism. Tourism has always been. Tourism has always been a part of our civilization. Our efforts in positioning India as a global tourist destination will also create jobs, stimulate investments, and unlock economic opportunities for other sectors. In addition to the measures outlined in the interim budget, I propose the following measures. Vishnupad Temple at Gaya and Mahabodhi Temple at Bodh Gaya in Bihar are of immense spiritual significance. Of Vishnupad Temple Corridor and Mahabodhi Temple Corridor will be supported, modeled on the successful Kashi Vishwanath Temple Corridor to transform them into world-class pilgrim and tourist destinations. Rajgir. Rajgir holds him for Hindus, Buddhists and Jains. The 20th Tirthankara Munisuvarata temple in the Jain complex, Jain temple complex is ancient. The Saptarishi or the seven hot springs form a warm water Brahmkund that is sacred. A comprehensive development initiative for Rajgir will be undertaken. Our 
government will support the development of Nalanda as a tourist center besides reviving Nalanda University to its glorious stature. Odisha's scenic beauty. Natural landscapes and pristine beaches make it an ultimate tourism destination. Our government will provide assistance for their development to Odisha as well. Priority 8, innovation, research and development. We will oper operationalize the Anusandan National Research Fund for basic research and prototype development. Further, we will set up a mechanism for spurring private sector-driven research and innovation at commercial scale with a financing pool of 1 lakh crore rupees in line with the announcement in the interim budget. Space economy, with our continued emphasis on expanding the space economy by five times in the next 10 years, a venture capital fund of 1,000 crore rupees will be set up. Priority nine, next generation reforms. Economic policy framework. We will formulate an economic to delineate the overarching approach to economic development and set the scope of the next generation of reforms for facilitating employment opportunities and sustaining high growth. Our government will initiate and incentivize reforms for one, improving productivity of factors of production, and two, facilitating market to become more efficient. These reforms will cover all factors of production, namely land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship, and technology as an enabler of improving total factor productivity and bridging inequality. Effective implementation of several of these reforms requires collaboration between the center and the states and building consensus as development of the country lies in development of the states. For promoting competitive federalism and incentivizing states for faster implementation of reforms, I propose to earmark a significant part of the 50-year interest-free loan. Working with the states, we will initiate the following reforms. Land-related reforms and actions, both in the rural and urban areas, will cover land administration, will cover, one, land administration, planning and management, and two, urban planning usage and building bylaws. These will be incentivized for completion within the next three years through appropriate fiscal support. Rural land-related actions. Rural land-related actions will include, one, assignment of unique land parcel identification number, UL PIN, or BU Aadhaar for all lands. Two, digitization of cadastral maps. Three, survey of subdivisions, survey of map sub subdivisions as per current ownership. Four, establishment of land registry. And five, linking to the farmer's registry. These actions will also facilitate credit flow and other agricultural services. Urban land related actions. Land records in urban areas will be digitized with GIS mapping. An IT-based system for property record administration, updating, and tax administration will be established. These will also facilitate improving the financial position of urban local bodies. Labor-related reforms. Services to labor. Our government will facilitate the provision of a wide array of services to labor, including those for employment and skilling. A comprehensive integration of e-shrum portal 
with other portals will facilitate such one-stop solution. Open architecture databases for the rapidly changing labor market, skill requirements, and available job roles, and a mechanism to connect job aspirants with potential employers and skill providers will be covered in these services. Shram Suvida and Samadhan Portal. Shram Suvida and Samadhan Portal